Bob, how is it that we were at 97 yeah. today? Already, you know, in Tampa Already. Bay at Ruskin was at 97 yesterday. That was wow. our all-time yeah. hottest temperature there, too, wow. uh, for May. We weren't quite there at the hottest temperature for May, but pretty close, 97 mm -hmm. degrees. And tomorrow could be similar. We'll see high temperatures mid to upper 90s. That's a result of the easterly wind flow. That's set up right now, and that east to southeasterly wind brings the temperatures up and then gets so hot that there's just no way for the uh, lift to not generate some shower activity. We saw that tonight uh, with a few brief showers around. It never really got to too intense. That's a result of the dry air, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, Dane getting this one is some rain off in the Gulf there uh, just around sunset. And Susan also around there. Susan Krebs getting this shot. Again, uh, you can see a little bit of a rain shaft. And as far as the... Fire danger scale. Don't don't let this uh, little bit of rain fool us or fool you. We are still in a high fire danger, regardless of the rainfall that we saw yesterday. It knocked our numbers down a little bit yesterday. In fact, uh, 657. We were at about 664 yesterday. So the number has come down a little bit, but still very high in Manatee and Sarasota counties. And the little bit of rain that we had today is gone. It's moved out into the Gulf of Mexico. It continues to weaken as it pushes away. We are looking at some pretty heavy showers just offshore of Longboat Key heading off toward the northwest. They will eventually dissipate out there. And as far as rainfall totals, uh, not all that impressive. Uh, in fact, uh, can only muster up about three tenths of an inch near Inglewood. And this, uh, these are estimates. Lakewood Ranch, about two tenths of an inch there, as well as on Siesta Key in downtown Sarasota, getting some rainfall as well. 79 degrees right now, still warm, still muggy. Winds are out of the east at 7, and the pressure 30.06 inches. That is on the rise. The high today, that too was on the rise at 97 degrees. Uh, our high today, 86 is our normal temperature for this time of year, so well above it, and 74 was the morning low. Well, those winds will stay out of the east. They'll be anywhere from 10 to 15 miles an hour in the morning and pretty much in the afternoon. That means you get a wind like that, it's going to pin that sea breeze right close to the coastline. So if we see showers develop again tomorrow, they'll be right near the coast and they'll push quickly off to the west. So we're not expecting a lot of accumulation. There may be one or two lone showers with that east wind in the interior portions of our viewing area. But temperatures will stay into the low 90s throughout much of the afternoon and even some mid 90s. At times, we may see uh, temperatures near 95 degrees right around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So if you're going to be outdoors, Remember uh, to uh, 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 actually wear light colored, loose fitting, uh, loose fitting clothing. Uh, it's always the best advice and drink plenty of water. Water is the best thing to drink uh, to stay hydrated during this kind of situation. Area of low pressure causing some rough weather up in Iowa tonight. Uh, there were numerous reports of tornadoes at times uh, with the Doppler radar indicated tornadoes are still taking place now into Wisconsin and northern Illinois. You can see those uh, tornado watches still in a place for us. A different story. We're going to see uh, some moisture returning. You'll see all this here. This is a, a nice uh, shot of a tropical moisture moving in our direction. It won't be in place tomorrow, but it will be on Friday. And notice what happens on Friday. We really start to see showers and storms that really build in the afternoon and evening. And these will contain some lightning. In fact, we're expecting the possibility of some moderate to heavy showers and a few thunderstorms, especially on Friday and Saturday. Temperatures now really dropping behind this system out in the northern and central Rockies right now. Still very warm over the northeast at this hour. 76 in the nation's capital, 77 in Boston. Here's the forecast for boaters. A moderate shop tomorrow. We'll have east winds turn to the northeast in the afternoon. We'll start off at 15 knots and then 5 to 10 knots in the afternoon. Water temperature at 83 degrees and the UV index will be high at 11 tomorrow. Tides up coming on your screen. The next high tide will be at 820. Sunrise at 640. Partly cloudy, isolated storms offshore winding down and 71 and then for tomorrow mostly sunny just a slight chance for a late day shower or two high of 92 and then the extended forecast calling for better chances for those scattered afternoon and evening storms on friday and saturday and then they'll push mainly inland on sunday and monday